Hi, I'm Atul and I'm an online tutor based in London right now. Hi, I'm Paul and I'm an online chemistry tutor based in Burnley, Lancashire right now. Okay, so today we're going to have a look at uh, CFCs and ozone. Uh, CFCs stand for chlorofluorocarbons. And if we draw a chlorofluorocarbon to start with, so it's just carbon with fluorines and chlorines on. So we could have three chlorines and a fluorine. So this would be trichlorofluoromethane. And in the upper atmosphere, just like with um, the free radical substitution of alkanes, where we get the initiation, we get a chlorine free radical when chlorine reacts with UV light. Here, when chlorofluorocarbons react with UV light, we can get chlorine free radicals again. So, what we end up with if this reacts with UV light, then we get homolytic fission, which is where bond breaks evenly, and we end up with two free radicals. So here, and there we have our chlorine free radical, which can then go on to react with ozone and turn ozone into oxygen and therefore deplete the ozone layer. So if we have a look at that next. Well, <clears throat> so when this reacts with ozone, it turns ozone into oxygen. And if we have a balance that equation, we'd need two ozones and three oxygens. And therefore, when we do our mechanism, we need to make sure our mechanism adds up to this overall equation of turning ozone into oxygen. So just move this up a little. And therefore, our chlorine free radical will react with our reactant, ozone. And we know it turns ozone into oxygen. And our free radical must be ClO free radical to balance, one chlorine and one more oxygen required. And then that free radical can react with ozone to turn it into oxygen and give us back our chlorine free radical which carries on reacting with ozone and, and turning it into oxygen. And to balance this last step with four oxygens on the left hand side, two oxygens on the right, so put a two in front of the O2 that gives us four oxygens. And if we ignore the free radicals here, because they cancel each other out in the overall mechanism, then on the left-hand side with two ozones, and on the right-hand side with three oxygens, which is what we're expecting to happen from the overall equation. So that's how chlorofluorocarbons can essentially destroy the ozone layer in the upper atmosphere and which is why they're now banned uh, because they were destroying the ozone layer and since they've been banned then the, the ozone layer has started to reform. Right. So this is essentially like a, some sort of runaway chain reaction where it just uh, keeps using up this oxygen here. It just keeps eating into this oxygen. With, uh... Yeah. 
Fantastic. That's a great bit of uh, knowledge there, Paul. Yeah, thanks. Uh, thanks very much for that. Yeah. Okay. Thanks, Cecil. All right. Thanks. Bye for now. Bye bye.